in the press for covering a press conference and all the clubs affiliated clubs of goa football association today we are over here i'm levina anthony pereira president of club samingel de taligaon and the life member of goa football association we are all here to get our things out from the gfa to all the people of goa and to all the clubs first of all in goa football association we have got 184 club registered and when we had the agm the last date of our executive committee was on 31st july after that the committee can go forward with their decisions the administrator has to take charge of gfa so we request the administration of gfa to announce the date of the election as fast as possible if we don't have the election as the fifa have banned aff because for a long time praful patil have enjoyed on aff cost and the same thing we don't have to do it in goa because the term of the president is over and the election has to get within this month or another one month the other thing the extension of president has to come in the agm for proposal to give them 3 months or 6 months but it was not taken up like the wrong thing an illegality he has done as he has sent his daughter walanka alema to aff for voting it is shame on our executive members of goa football association that they are not as per the chachil alema he says that his daughter is more educated in football than the executive committee members so i can understand what is the exchange offer for chachil alema if he don't have any confident on the executive committee members just to send one executive committee member for the voting rights so it is very bad on our goa football association and for the football lovers without the concern committee he has selected his daughter so i request the administration should go forward and have the election as fast as possible otherwise we have to take the club into confidence and go forward with the requirement on 31st july 2022 we are on 25 out of 184 with the short notice they have come it is uh, ganesh uh, festival sama gone for their personal work but they are all support yeah all are all are supporting us उटर्निंग सिंगल क्लब 
forget about that in the egm we have all i have already proposed that any decision taken by the executive committee or the president has to inform the clubs for the for information but still he has not done that so he is taking gfa on the right like he is things like gfa is his own club but i feel that he has to step down from today because whatever he is doing it is doing on his own I don't think so because he takes his own. As per the, as per the, he's he is not taking confidence. That's why he sent his daughter because uh, no confidence on the executive committee members. That's what he said. No, there are robbers in GFA. For the last four years, he was the president. I don't understand why he has not caught the robbers. Why he is giving a press conference now saying that uh, there are robbers in uh, GFA? So are there robbers? Yeah, robbers. And he is saying whatever he wants. He is he is saying whatever he wants. So that's why we are putting it forward. He should come and uh, catch the robbers who are there. Oh, it is just an election stunt. What uh, he is doing in political life, he wants to do it in GFA. He has to. He is getting his family raj in uh, football uh, circle. No, yet not. But in future, we might go because if the decision is not coming within this one month or fifteen, fifteen or days or one month, we might proceed further. The people who have played football, they have to come forward. See, we are requesting all the ex-footballers, ex-coaches, ex-referees to come in Goa Football Association so that we run who are knowledgeable in football, who are like-minded, who can help GFA to run. So, if they don't come, then these politicians come in the between and they spoil everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Patman Pizzato. I'm representing Girdoli Club. My club in 2018-19 played in the third division. We went undefeated the entire season and won promotion to the second division. From 2019, I'm waiting for my trophy and prize money. The intention to bring this out here is. GFA is not being run as it should be run. Entry fees are being paid to enter these competitions. And why are we not given prize money? How do I motivate my players for the next season? What is the motivation for them? When you see a trophy in the club, it is a moment of pride for these players. When they enter, tomorrow when they stop playing, they can motivate their children as well. Whoever comes to the club, oh, this is the trophy we won when we were playing. There is nothing for them to show. So where is the motivation? Secondly, inter-village tournaments. These tournaments are the backbone of football in Goa. All these big clubs they spot talent at inter-village level. Goa's second oldest tournament, the Cement Trophy, traditionally starts on the 15th of August every year. This year it has not started on the 15th of August. The reason? No teams were ready to play. Why were teams not ready to play on 15th August? Is it because of open tournaments? What is the action taken by this present committee against open tournaments that are going on? Where is the fear? Because during the tenure of Mr. Elvis Gomes, open tournaments had almost come to a stop because they were fining players, they were banning players. Players were taken to task for taking part in unrecognized tournaments. But now it's a free for all. 
from information that is available. Even uh, Mr. Alamo and his daughter has uh, sponsored a tournament in Naveli in 21, which is the first all Goa Babush Memorial or something. It's an open tournament which he has uh, organized. 5,000 is the entry fee. GFA entry fee is only 1,000 rupees. So from the entry fee only they should know. And this cement trophy issue also was highlighted on the newspapers. GFA should have been proactive. They should have asked the organizing club, why in 47 years have you failed to start your tournament on the date that you always used to start, 15th of August. Unless and until we change all this, football is not going anywhere. This year we lost to Gujarat. Next year it will be to Andaman and Nicobar, all we know. So somebody has to save this. Somebody has to, you know, bring this up. And with this present committee who have overstayed their term, who are illegally continuing to hold a, a chair, these things are not going to improve. They need to go immediately. And all the clubs need to get together and throw them out if they are not going on their own. Thank you. I am Peter Kutino, President of Navili Villages Union. Mr. Anthony and Edwin has covered practically everything, but I have another point to say. In 2018, there was a press note issued by the President of Churchill Brothers, dated 28 July 2018, fighting for elections because the term of the old committee was over by the 31st. Or the tenure is four years, whatever, whichever is early, they have to move out. But now, the present committee wants to stick on to that table or the chair. 31st July we had a meeting. Practically everyone was saying, have the election, have the election. And there was another big issue regarding the sponsorship for that uh, last year's uh, professional league. Someone questioned them, why uh, executive committee was not taken into consideration. He said, my daughter brought the uh, sponsorship. So she was called. So what I am saying is, whatever it is, why he is hesitant to have the election? What is the reason behind it? He wants to continue? Or is he trying to press all the executive mem committee members to support him? No one is supporting him personally. But what I am saying is, when you talk something, you act and show the Baba. As per the constitution, elections are to be held by the 31st July. With the approval, you can extend by three months to six months if the general body gives you the approval. But there was no approval given by the general body and is still continuing. One answer he gave, certain points he was asking the secretary and those people who were noting the minutes. Don't note that. Don't, no, write, don't tell, write on the minutes. Why? Whatever is discussed for the meeting should be noted in the minutes. Thank you. Friends, I want to make a point here. Our good friend Patrick said, uh, you know, Goa has not been progressing in getting awards over the past couple of years in the football level. I want to make a small point to you is the schools also are equally responsible. I have been facing a little situation from some of the schools which says the school boys have to be trained and play for the school level only. They should be not getting out and play for clubs and for the state level. If these schools are going to keep these children into their package and say don't go ahead and play for any club and move up in life, then how will the boss state team go ahead? You see, the motivation factor is the, the school authorities should motivate these children, come on, you have to work hard and prove yourself, go to the state level, play for the state team, then only uh, Levels will go up. In the next couple of years, we'll have a champion team for both. Thank you. Sorry, by the way, I'm Antonio Mascarenas from Ave Maria, Save the Child, and all of you.